Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where they let us go to. Because Tiffany was no help. They're very. It's the for snorers in 2025. Hey, stop using those things for snoring. This. They're very mad. <coughs> but I want to look at those situations. So I don't know if they're mad. But a little woman, uh, even if she's completely wrong, that's what I've noticed. Alright. Uh, which is fine. Which is fine. No, I didn't uh, mean it. I understand the insecurity. Alright, here. Straight at you. Facing you. A huge beta game of someone's butt. This is, gosh. It's, at least I know where we are. Thanks, Tiff. Alright, so uh, this is our next slide. James Kaufman, World News Report today. I want to apologize. YouTube obviously has a problem with the truth in all matters. Political, solar, uh, about everything. About diseases, about everything they got a problem with. The biggest set of tools in one building than anywhere in the world. If you only knew, at least the headquarters is in the right spot, right? Tool City. Tool City. Now, what we were talking about was this crawl hole, or excuse me, solar flare or sunspot group coming around the incoming limb, and this crawl hole here, and how there's no way that it could be causing. No Scotia in the house. Please watch the first half, guys, before they cut me off. I was getting a little bit too down and dirty for them. Too much truth is never a good thing on YouTube. You have to just touch the truth and not tell you all the whole truth. But I have nothing but the truth, so help me God. Uh, this chrome hole is not what's causing the chrome holes currently uh, it should be plasma because they were chrome mass ejections which is plasma this just kind of well if you look at my report last night it just appeared out of nowhere this chrome hole here now this will continue our solar winds but we should only see about 600 to 650 kilometers per second we're seeing over 800 kilometers per second from CMEs, which is plasma. There's four states of matter. Let's, let's go over this with you guys. Solid, liquid, gaseous state, and plasma, right? And so a CME creates plasma that lifts up from the canopy of the sun. A crawl hole is missing the canopy and allows solar winds, solar winds to leave from the internal part of the sun faster than if the canopy was in place. And so coral holes create stronger solar winds, whereas solar flares create coronal mass ejections, i.e. the plasma lifting off of the star. I've had about enough of these people. Nova Scotia in the house. What do you say, John? Let's learn together, right? Let's see what we got here. I think we did go over this, but we'll go over it real, real quickly one last time. Uh, all right. We have a few sunspots coming around, but, I mean, these are the most insignificant sunspots I've ever seen. This is uh, three different views of them. Why can't we put a satellite in orbit and have it orbiting within moments? Well, uh, obviously we should be able to because we fire a rocket every day, about a billion dollars worth on Elon Musk. But I guess that's part of the slush fund. 
That just goes into the Gulf so all the sinners can split it up, right? All right, this is the part that no one wanted to see. This is the part no one wanted to see, and they didn't want y'all to see. First, they didn't want y'all to see that there's 1.5, what are the 600, 600 uh, look, I already have it pulled up, 1.3 million miles an hour. So these winds are coming up behind Earth, Earth's going to the left in this model, at 67,000 miles an hour. That's it. 67. It orbits the sun at 67,000 miles an hour. Earth's a little white and black thing in the middle. The gray is our atmosphere. This is coming at 1.4 million miles an hour off the chart, so it could be stronger. And it's passing Earth from behind Earth. Of course, I will show you all there's nothing behind Earth that could be creating this. I have no way to tell you what the hell's going on here. But to, to make sure that y'all believe me, well, look at this. All the pressure is hitting the dark, dark side. Yes, Earth rotates 360 degrees a day. So there's always a new Earth or Earth sun and dark side sun and non-sun facing side but we're still moving to the left at 67,000 miles an hour these two cut planes here now it looks like we have jets going on in me look at this ongoing look at the back side no no what's important is there's no bow shock here no bow shock we can say that it was an ebbing effect. NASA kicked me off their website. They won't even let me comment anymore. If it's an ebbing effect, all the big sign was then. The bow of the boat's obviously going to get hit harder going upstream than the back of the boat. So I told them I had to put it in like kindergarten terms so that they kicked me off. Look, hour after hour after hour after hour after hour after hour after hour. Kindergarten terms, so they kick me off. Good times. It's buffering. I'm telling the truth. If I start saying reindeers and unicorns, well, we can get that buffering to stop real quick. Reindeers. I want to tell you about this reindeer I knew once. And his friend, the unicorn. These people all work together. And a big intertwined lie network. That's all they all do is lie. John, I'm just showing y'all that whatever's hitting us is hitting us from behind. We're moving to the left. And they've already, already cut me off six times. Also want to show y'all that these are 1.4 to 1.5 million mile per hour winds. Passing Earth. Passing Earth. Where are they passing Earth? Earth's only moving at 67,000 miles an hour to the left and moving at you at 544,000 miles an hour being pulled by the sun via the Big Bang. These people think, think y'all are screwed, but I'm going to make sure y'all are on the same page as reality. Bunch of losers. You know, NASA... What a waste of good money. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and take a look at the European model here. Hey, Miss Charlene. Uh, all right. What we got here? Oh. We've got, they haven't updated this, that's today. They thought we were going to get hit by 42 centimeters of plasma today. This is the European Space Agency, the ESA. 
And look at the solar winds. The solar winds are well over seven to eight hundred right now, and they have them going up from about four hundred to five fifty today. They don't even make close to where we're at. Not even close to where we're at. This is a, a Euphoria ESA, European Space Agency. They usually get the solar winds right. They never get the plasma right. Look at the plasma up here at 44. A joke. Another joke. So tired of these jokes. The jokes on us is the problem. All right, I found all. They redid everything and tried to hide everything. But I went through for hours and found out where everything was. So we get to bust them again. I want you to watch these arrows pointing back. Uh, here is Earth, the white part's solar facing, the black part is night facing, the black area around there is our, uh, well, it's our atmosphere, and they actually call out the moon right here, moon right here, goes 16 right here, and goes 18, okay, call them out all around the atmosphere here. But look, if the moon is 220,000 miles away, three or four million miles behind Earth, and we have winds inbound at three or four million miles behind Earth. Explain, please. And you can watch, whoa, that cleared out quick. You can watch the arrows fighting themselves all day long. They're almost stuck in one place. Winds are going nowhere. But towards the end of the day, as we get towards the end of the day, you're going to see just what we saw on the pressure variant. The pressure variant. Look. Let's get a little bit further down the road. And then you're going to start seeing that two. Whoa. Starting to, starting to screw me. Hold on. I'll do it their way. The winds are going to start to want to go into the back. Back. Remember that 1.4 million miles an hour coming from behind Earth. How is that possible, James? Well, it's not. Unless there's a secondary source here. Uh, ooh, that Mercury. Let's call it the 6th. Look for big earthquakes. Maybe even on the 5th. All right. Oh. And by the way, CERN's in full luminosity. What that meant? Hey, man. It, I looked it up. It means fully enlightened. It means fully enlightened. Fully, you're fully enlightened. Well, quite sure. It's almost at the the max would be seven thousand uh, GV per beam, and it's just right there, right under the total max. You can see the max up here. Then you look at instantaneous luminosity. Uh, it seems to be going with the solar flares. I think they're freak freaking fucking us again. But that's what... Have we ever found a government that's on our side? If no, let me know what country so I can move there. Please, let me know what country. Why, it's not only you. Uh, it's open. Do you have my number? Call in right now? You're welcome to, sir. Or if you want to wait till our open show that's up next, you decide. You can always call in. You can be my co-host. All right. Uh, I want to show you this. So all from yesterday, nothing really today. But yesterday was a very active day. Been lucky today. We will be back at around 11 p.m. Central. It's 10 p.m. Central now. Uh, headlines for the day so hopefully if I'm five minutes late expect it 
I got you guys. When you're telling the truth that no one else will tell, you got to expect it, man. It's not my equipment. Not my equipment, guys.